Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe. And if you are enjoying and you find value, make sure to like um, as many videos as possible so that I can keep bringing this to you. Now, we're going to take a moment and look at valuing and reporting investments, specifically equity investments. Two categories, trading and available for sale. So let's take a look at trading. So when we're looking at trading, trading securities in uh, particular, companies are going to hold uh, trading securities with the intention of selling in a short period. So we're looking at the intent. The intent is not to hold, it's to sell in a short period. So we're, we're talking about trading that's frequent buying and selling. Now, the trading securities are reported at fair value. Any changes, right, in the cost, it's reported on the income statement as unrealized gains or losses. Now, let's take a look at available for sale. Available for sale securities. Now they're held with the intent of selling sometime in the future. Selling sometime in the future. Now they're classified as current assets or long term assets depending on the intent, the intent that comes from management. Again, reported at fair value. Now changes from cost are reported in the stockholders' equity section. And then they're done as unrealized gains or losses. Thank you again.